what's going on everybody oh man we really got it rough these days don't we huh uh, at least we're not in a freaking war oh i shouldn't say that oh man you know if the covid doesn't get you the murder hornets doesn't get you we got good old harbor freight coming to the rescue so uh yeah if you're not aware of this there's a recall on these uh jack stands from harbor freight the six ton as well as the three tons this is a three ton not from harbor freight this is a six ton from harbor freight and it is involved in the recall you can see the part number right there six one one nine seven all right so the documentation basically says that it's about five percent that are affected with this now if you're like me and you rate the uh chinese uh tools and stuff ratings you basically end up taking the number they give you and dividing it by half so if it's a three ton jack you know it's really a one and a half ton if it's a six ton jack it's really a three ton jack and those are pretty much uh where to live by so uh during this apocalypse you know um I was reading the uh, information on the recall, and they're basically saying that there's only 5% of these with this issue. <laughs> that may be one of those figures, you know. They may be skewing towards the lesser of the problem versus the reality. It may be about 95%. Um, I've actually had these jack stands for a few years now, and um, when I heard about that recall, I wanted to take a look at it and see what it was all about because obviously, you know, I'm not going to use this thing anymore. Um, but one thing I did notice um, when you compare it to another jack stand, the, uh, the teeth cut, basically the uh, recall says that the teeth aren't cut deep enough. This one has a very substantial tooth depth versus the Harbor Freight. it's a lot less so you can kind of see the difference right there um you know the the teeth count on this i mean the depth of it is just a lot more substantial so um that recall actually says that when these jack stands are in a situation where they become unweighted and then immediately have a load placed back on them they're actually going from full length and collapsing all the way down so i'm sure someone had a very bad day with this and um you know rest in peace whoever that was so i figured i would give this a shot and try to recreate the condition where this jack stand would become unweighted and then fully weighted again now what i'm thinking is going on is usually like sometimes on occasion these can get stuck to the chassis so if you're jacking up another side of the car or another corner really high it may want to tip and lift off of a jack stand and i think that's what could happen so let's just assume that this is getting stuck to the car becoming unweighted and then immediately a load is being put back on it let's see what happens right there Check this out though. So yeah, I think that's what's going on. Um, let me try and see if I can duplicate that with some other aftermarket jack stands. Now let's try it with a more substantial tooth count. I don't know, same thing. What might really be going on is uh, some of these may actually be cut even shallower than that. Uh, it really doesn't seem to affect it. I mean, they both pretty much handle the same way. So what I'm thinking is possibly the actual Paul, I guess you would call it, the parking Paul, 
Um, it's just a cast iron piece. That actually might be severing and snapping off um, due to the teeth depth, meaning it doesn't travel too far down that paw's length. And um, if you can kind of see a cross section of it, you can kind of see it peeking through there. Right there. It's not very wide. Let's see if I can zoom in. It's kind of kind of a very thin point. So I'm sure what's going on is that is actually snapping off. Um, it only goes in a certain amount. So if the teeth depth were longer, they would engage a more meatier spot of this parking paw. It basically curves down like that and up around like that. So I think it's just snapping off the, uh, the end right there. That's my guess. You know, they don't really tell you many details about it, but I think that's what's going on. So, yep. If you guys thought this video was useful, uh, definitely leave a like. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and share it with a friend, someone who may be interested in the, finding out what exactly is wrong. And if you have any other feedback, if you guys have any other ideas on why these things are actually failing, um, let me know. You know, if your teeth count looks even shallower than that, let me know because I'd be interested uh, to find out. I mean, the, the depth of cut on those tooth right there, they match the three ton that came from your standard auto parts store. Um, so I think it just confirms that their six ton jacks are really just three ton jacks. I mean, it's actually kind of funny. You know, they must have the identical teeth cut on them. So, you know, a little bit wider, but yeah, I'm really, I'm pretty sure it's this parking pole and I'm pretty sure it's just snapping off on occasion. So six ton Harbor Freight jack stands, not rated for six tons. Who would have thought? All right, you guys, um, if you do have this recall, you can take it in and they will give you a store credit to buy some new cheap jack stands um however i'm pretty sure they're probably only going to value these things at like 30 40 bucks so uh be aware of that and then on top of that they're giving you uh a link no they're giving you a 20 percent off coupon i don't know if there's any other stipulation from any other 20 percent off coupon that harbor freight sells um but you know seems a little weak if you ask me but uh all right, that's pretty much going to sum it up. So um, I guess that's it. I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, see ya.